Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny from Desfix and I want to officially welcome you to this ultimate web development masterclass course. After many years of making tutorials both online and offline for thousands of students worldwide, I finally decided to make a one in all knowledge pack crash course for you. In this course, we will be learning everything we need to get started creating websites, web application, and of course, building real world applications like YouTube clone. We'll be building this real world application using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, Django, jQuery, Ajax, Axios, and Bootstrap. And don't stress your head a lot because I'll briefly explain why we need these tools for this project. And you might be asking, what is the prerequisite for this awesome course? And the answer to that is no knowledge of any other technologies that we'd be using. In simpler words, you don't need to understand or even know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, Django, jQuery, Ajax, Bootstrap, or Axios, as that is why this crash course was made for you. If you have any knowledge about this, then that's an extra credit for you. And in the upcoming video, I'm going to go ahead and demo the end products of what we'll be building in this course. Once more, I officially welcome you to the ultimate web development masterclass course don't be in a hurry buddy just sit back with a cup of coffee um that's if you like coffee though you know what just get any soda of your choice okay so without any further ado let's go ahead and get started Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to this video. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and demo out the fully functional YouTube clone that we built. And this is a replica of what we're going to be building in this tutorial. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and run your server, but you don't need to do this as that's what we're going to be doing in the other videos. But if you want to run the server, I've showed you guys this before. What you need to do is you're going to have a folder that's going to be called YouTube clone Django. Then you want to open up the final source code and you want to copy this and paste it in your terminal. Just while, like control C, then you paste it. Then I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it just like this. So CD pretty much means change directory and pasting this in here is simply going to change the directory to this. So when we've done that, all we need to do is go ahead and run Python manage.py run server. Now I don't want to explain anything here about this because I've got separate videos that are going to do justice to all this. So when that's running, you want to come over to port 8000. Okay. And as you can see, this is what we got over here looking pretty good. So from the go, as you can see, this is what we have. Now I could go ahead and log out. So I'm going to start by logging in. So as you can see, this is our Google login page looks really amazing and cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and pass in my email and I can also put in my password. Okay. And you can view my password if you want to see that. Now let's say you don't have an account yet. You could go ahead and create an account and as you can see, this works perfectly well. All we need to do is go ahead and fill this in and go ahead and create an account. And as you can see, we've got password validations and all that. And it's working perfectly well. So that's it. But I already have an account. I don't want to create an account. All I need to do is just go ahead and log in. So I'm just going to come over here put my password and I'm going to go ahead and log in. So this should go ahead and create um, a login to my existing account that I've got in my database. And alongside this, I'm going to open up the admin section. So as you can see, this is the admin section where we have all this really um, cool things that keep tracks of whatever that's going on on our, on our site. Okay. So from over here, as you can see, we got this nav links. We're going to be building all this out the front end using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We're going to be building all this. And also, as you can see, it's quite responsive. So if I opened up my developer tools using Control Shift I, you can see that this is what we got. It's quite responsive and everything looks really amazing, right? Yeah. So um, after this, we list out videos. All these videos are coming from our database dynamically, which means if you come over here to the site administration and come over to videos, all I need to do is come over to call then videos then you can see that i've got all those videos over here now all those videos are what we have over here and they are coming directly directly i say from our database okay and as you can see over here we got some people's channel we got tech with team we got dennis ivy we got Desfix, and i think these are the three channels that we got so we could go ahead and view someone's channel so i'm going to come over here and view their channel and this as you can see this is tech with team's channel and he has a video right how to host on heroku now the really cool thing about this is that this is popular uploads so this means that his most popular videos are, are what's going to be showing up on this page okay popular uploads 56 views 16 views and 10 views from the most popular to the least popular now you can also come over to his videos there you could view all the whole videos that he's got now as you can see this doesn't really stick with the popular popularity again now these are all his videos and you, he also has this community page where we could you know read his community post and all that and as you can see because this is not our community post we won't be able to 
to edit or do anything to this but the really cool thing is that we could go ahead and like so i could like this community post and now what do you notice it has one like i could go ahead and dislike this and what do you notice zero likes looking pretty cool right now another thing that i could do is go ahead and open up this community post so i could click on that button and as you can see it opens up the community post now one thing that i could do is go ahead and add a comment i could say really amazing right it's a it's a really cool one and i'm gonna post that now what do you notice we have really amazing over here it looks pretty cool so from over here we could go ahead and add a comment so as you can see when i click on the button and it opens this up now as you can see we could go ahead and add a comment and this is actually really cool because we can see when he created this as you can see two months ago and um we can see the title that he added we can see image and i'm gonna show you guys how to do all this we're gonna, we're gonna be creating all this the front end the back end and we could go ahead and also like this community post from in here and as you can see it's likes so i could go ahead and add a comment and as you can see it says zero comments so i could go ahead and say really amazing tutorial and post this now what do you notice it says one comment looks pretty cool now as you can see it says zero minutes ago that's when we posted a comment it keeps tracks of all this as you can see this is the comment this is who posted a comment and the really cool thing is that we could go ahead and even delete the comments okay as you can see now the comments is gone we don't have any any of that again so that's working pretty cool if we even go ahead and add something else i'm gonna add a, a new comment now what do you notice over here it, it counts the comments from over here that's pretty cool right now if we come over to the community again as you can see it's even still can count it over here so that's that's really amazing that i'd say now if we come over to the about page this are the stats for users as you can see this is when he started up his youtube channel this is his total views 71 views these are some links we could flag um, his YouTube channel if we want to do that as you can see these are links this is his website this is Facebook Instagram Twitter I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do all this it's gonna be quite cool now another thing that I'd want you guys to see is the subscribe button over here so we could either subscribe to him from over here or we could join a, ch a membership channel or something like that okay so now this is what I want to show you guys now how about we try viewing our own um, our own YouTube channel so this is it over here right this desk fix as you can see i got one subscriber now these are the videos that i've got my most popular video is 16 views 15 views and 13 views right now if we open up all my videos then you can see that i've got a couple more then also i've got this community post over here new post coming soon guys you could add posts without even adding image and that's pretty amazing now i could go ahead and even delete community posts or share or edit so okay let's say i want to start off by editing one now what do you notice this is how it looks right so we could even go ahead and add up an image right now so i'm just going to add up this image and I'm gonna say um, new e-commerce e-commerce tutorial tutorial coming soon guys I know that spelling is not correct I'm just gonna go ahead and publish this and um, as you can see guys what do you notice it's published this and it's updates the, the post that I created that's really really amazing now I could even add more comments over here I'm gonna go ahead and add more comments and as you can see the comments shows up down here really amazing right now another thing that I want to show you guys is how we could add videos so okay instead of adding videos let's start by creating community posts so if we hit this button over here then we're going to be able to create community posts so let's just open up one of these i'm just going to open up this and um let me just grab this text over here and i'm going to say there is no place like chrome um download chrome today or something whatever i'm just going to get back here and let me grab this also uh oh okay i think i'm just going to pass on that one let me just copy this one then i'm going to paste this today uh I say it's today then I'm, I'm just gonna paste this here okay download visual studio code and if you want you can add an image for this it's totally up to you if you don't want to add an image it's still totally up to you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to desktop and um, I'm also gonna choose one of these images so I could just choose one of this and I'm gonna go ahead and publish so what do you notice guys it creates it for us and it brings us to the detail page we could also like this looking pretty cool if we come over to community post then we can see the whole post that we've got looking pretty good right as you can see this post over here and this one also this one got one like this one got no like this one got two comments this one ha has no comments amazing now another cool feature that i want you guys to see is adding videos so we can come over here to create videos and uh, we can create a video but before we do that let's go ahead and play one of the videos that we've got so i'm going to come over to videos over here these are all the videos i've got you could play any of this but before i do that let me just hop over to my home and let's say i want to grab tech with teams video which is host website on heroku and as you can see this is how it's looking looking pretty cool 
so i could go ahead and like the video as you can see it drops a like without refreshing the page and that's really amazing and another thing that i could do is go ahead and subscribe to him take a close look at the subscribers he's got two subscribers over here and if i go ahead and hit subscribe uh, what do you notice it, the button changes and it's, it adds three subscribers so i could even go ahead and still unsubscribe as you, as you can see it removes and i can add another subscriber without refreshing the page and all this happens asynchronously and um i could also put a comment over here i could say really amazing video man and i'm gonna go ahead and come on hit the comments now what do you notice it just slides this up and adds the comments without refreshing the page that is really amazing right that's really amazing we can see the time that that gets created we can see all this we can see suggested videos over here and um i think we can see the the video description we can see uh this title over here another cool thing is this tags so if i open up one of those tags let's say i click on django now we're gonna see all the whole tags or videos that has the tag django so as you can see showing results for tag django now all those videos that you can see over here have django tag in them so let's say i want to open up this git and github tutorial now i could go ahead and play this video as you can see the video is playing just like youtube everything works perfectly well you could forward you could pause you could mute videos let's play this um, you could put this on white screen like this you could also even go ahead and download the video if you want to your pc it's totally up to you whatever you want to do and um i think that's going to be it that you could even put a comment idea then go ahead and comment now what do you notice the comments shows up over there i don't know did i show you guys how to delete the comments deleting the comments is quite easy we could come over here and delete comments and as you can see the page doesn't refresh the comments just slits out now for any reason we get back to the page we can see zero comments okay that's pretty much it we could also even open videos from here instagram clone using django click on that it opens this up again we could drop a like this is tech with steam subscribers um i think we we opened up this video before right okay not yet we haven't opened it up so we could even look at um tags that's javascript i've showed you guys this also and another really cool thing that we could look at is the search bar so if we let's say we want to look search for something like len django and we hit search now what do you notice showing results for len django there is nothing like that how about we just hit search or len okay what do you notice now there is len how to host website on heroku so if we search for heroku and search what do you notice now we have only the heroku so we have this really cool search form that helps us you know with our search and all that and another amazing thing over here is the creating video so we could come over here hit that button then we could add some title over here as you can see as you can see we got some validations over here written using javascript so we could say um e-commerce platform using django and js and i'm just going to copy this and put it as the description over there and as you can see we got this really cool thing now we can add tags we could say django we could say e-commerce we could say um whatever we could say javascript just separate your tags with commas then we could go ahead and upload a thumbnail so um i'm just gonna be uploading one of these i'm gonna come over here to the e-commerce and let's say i want to upload one of this and for the video we could go ahead and choose a video for this i'm gonna hop over to e-commerce also i could just choose one of my one of my videos over here let's say i want to choose um let's say this one then we could change the visibility private unlisted members only or public so depending on whatever you choose over here that's how it's going to work private is not going to show up only that is going to show up but it's only going to work if you share the link public is going to be for everyone on the site so hit public hit publish then this video is going to go this is going to go ahead and create the video for us right now the video is uploading when it's done uploading as you can see it refreshes this so as you can see it brings us to the dashboard and that's pretty amazing so from the dashboard we can see how many videos that we've got we can see how many subscribers that we have we can see our total views that's really amazing right we could view all our videos from over here and the really cool part is that it displays all our videos for us so login system using node.js deploy django's app these are all our videos these are the visibility this is new new one that we just created now so i'm going to open this on a new tab let's look at the video so i open this on a new tab this is it over here i could go ahead and play this as you can as you can see it's playing so i i could forward this I could drop a like on it um i could subscribe to myself but that doesn't make any sense so we're gonna get rid of this now there is this button over here i could go ahead and edit this video hit edit then we could go ahead and edit this video 
as you can see it brings us back here this is the existing thumbnail this is the existing video we could we, we could play this from over here everything is working perfectly well just like youtube so we'll go ahead and replace the image that if you want just click on this icon over here or click on that i'm just going to click on this then let's up updates the image so you guys can see that that actually works so i chose a new image and if you want to upload the, update the video just click on video also head back to the thumbnail and um let's just choose one of this i'm gonna choose one of that i don't know how long that's it that is but you know what i'm just i'm not gonna update the video i'm just gonna update the thumbnail so you guys see that it actually updates so i'm gonna choose updates thumbnail and i'm gonna say js updated okay so you guys can actually see that something works so updated put that in a bracket and i'm gonna go ahead and publish this video so it brings us here again what do you notice e-commerce platform now if we open this up guys what do you notice updated over here and even if we hop over to our home page to the youtube home page what do you notice it shows up over here with a new thumbnail that's pretty amazing right yeah i'd say that's cool now i want to show you guys more thing from the dashboard so let's head over to the dashboard this is it over here and um um, what we could do is go ahead as you can see we could log out we could go over to settings we could also view our channel from over here if we click on that as you can see it brings us to our channel and um, another thing that we could do is even go ahead and change status of video so we could edit this video we could view and we could also delete this video so let's say I want to delete this e-commerce video that I just created now I could go ahead and hit this and also just go ahead and hit delete and the video is gone as simple as that and um, I think that's it now we could go ahead and also log out and it brings us here i could go ahead and hit this again put my password and login just like i showed you guys earlier and everything is working perfectly well so another thing that i've got over here is videos now these are videos that have okay that's not from there it seems over here so libraries are videos that i have saved that i want to watch later this is where they show up my saved videos so how does this work if i open up this now and i just hit the save button so it's going to go ahead and unsave the video right so what if I get back to my saved video, this one over here, and um, come over to your videos or library instead. Now what do you notice? No saved video. That's pretty cool. So let's say I want to save another video. This host your website on GitHub. Team. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I want to save the real-time chatting application video. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now let's go home and also come over to saved videos or library whatever you call it now what do you notice we got these two videos over here looking really amazing and awesome and i think that's gonna be it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed it and see what we're gonna be building another cool features that we got is the trending so the trending is gonna list out all the whole videos by popular as you can see trending over here now we're also gonna be adding subscriptions so it's gonna show all the whole sites that we are subscribed to we're gonna be working with history so it's gonna show videos that we've worked on uh, i've showed you guys videos watched later is the saved video just like i showed you guys we're also going to be working with liked videos so it's going to display the videos that we've liked and i've showed you guys the logout already also so that's pretty much it for this video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and um ex are excited about what we're going to be building in this tutorial do make sure to download the source materials the source code the template files the css js everything single thing that we're going to be using as that would enable you to follow along with this tutorial that's going to be it for this video guys i hope to see you guys in the tutorial So I would want to talk about the goal of this course. So the goal of this course is quite easy, I'd say. And that's because I don't want to bore you to death with boring topics and lessons. In general, the goal of this course is to help you get started creating real-world applications using modern technologies. Firstly, we will be creating static pages and structure using HTML that would go ahead and start learning how to style our pages using CSS. After that, we're going to be learning how to use Bootstrap to speed up the workflow, how to create routes or views with Django, how to save static content and files using Django, how to connect templates with models to serve data dynamically, how to create models and how to connect them with templates and views, how to work with databases using SQLite or Postgres, how to handle and validate forms in Django, how to create relative URLs with templates, and how to check out templates and custom filters. Also, we'll be learning how to create user models, forms, implementation of login, logouts, and user registration. And we're going to go ahead and work with complex crude functionalities using Django, JavaScript, and Exios. Finally, the most rewarding outcome of this course is that you would learn how to build a Django and JavaScript application hands on.